Hello there, friends. You're listening to Mastering the Task Exam with me, Mr. Abe Tascone. Today's task science lesson is evolution and natural selection. Here's today's test tip for the task exam. Don't get distracted by your phone. When you're studying, put your phone aside. Only use it if you need to look up the meaning of a word or you're using it to help with research for a particular topic. You need to give 100% of your focus to your studies. This will also help when it's time to take the task exam. That's right, you'll not be able to access your phone in the testing room. Today we're going to talk about the father of the hipster beard. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce Mr. Charles Darwin. Now, Darwin is known more for his contribution to science rather than his beard. The phrase that pays today is evolution and natural selection. Darwin was similar to Mendel, quick shout out to his peas, and the fact that he loved watching and studying living things. One day, Darwin set sail on a British ship called the Beagle. His trip around the world lasted five years. Now one stop in particular had a profound effect on Mr. Darwin. This place was more like places. They were called the Galapagos Islands. These islands contained so many different species of animals. Those species on the Galapagos Islands were very similar to the ones he saw in South America. But at the same time, they were also very different. Now, how could this be? You should probably know that the Galapagos Islands are listed among the top 13 most isolated islands in the world. This trip would help him define a new theory in science called evolution. Now, Darwin noticed that both South America and the Galapagos Islands had iguanas. The iguanas in South America had small claws to climb trees. The iguanas on the Galapagos Islands had large claws. And this allowed them to grip wet rocks that were slippery. There were also similar species of finches on the different Galapagos Islands. Each island had a specific finch that had a unique beak. No two islands had the same type of finch. All of these similarities and differences are examples of adaptations. Adaptation is a change or the process of change by which an organism or species become better suited to its environment. Darwin decided that these animals came from the mainland of South America and had changed over time to adapt to their new surroundings. This change would be termed as evolution. This change, also known as evolution, occurred because of natural selection. Now, natural selection is when individuals that are more suited for their environment are more likely to survive, reproduce, and pass on those important adaptations to their offspring. There are five points of natural selection. The way to remember this is by the word vista. Variation, inheritance, selection, time, and adaptation. The first point of natural selection is that populations have variations. Variations are different forms of something. You can think of variations as helping a species survive in their particular environment, like these toads, or these bears. Some variations are favorable that are passed on through inheritance, which is the second point of natural selection. This can be seen in the illustration on the right. The green beetles are easily seen by the bird, which in turn eats the green beetles the population of green beetles would begin to decline. The brown beetles would increase in population because their color helps them stay camouflaged on the tree bark.
most species produce more offspring than can survive. This is known as selection, which is the third point of natural selection. An example would be cats. An unaltered female cat can produce three litters per year, with the average litter size ranging from four to six kittens. Now, a single unspayed female cat and her offspring can produce more than 400,000 cats in their lifetime. Holy smokes, that's a lot of cats. While that number seems big, 50% of all kittens die within the first year from disease, predators, or human activity. Those cats with favorable variations are more likely to survive. Examples like being fast, strong immune system, etc. The fourth point of natural selection is that populations will change over time. Changes in populations usually happen within one or a few generations due to natural or human events. The fifth point of natural selection brings us back to adaptation. So you can think of it this way. Those offsprings that survive have favorable traits that help them adapt to their surroundings. This ensures that they survive and multiply. Unfortunately for those species that can't adapt to their surroundings, eventually become extinct. So you can think of natural selection this way. A population has differences, also known as variations. Some of those variations inherited are favorable. More offspring are always produced, also known as selected, than survive. Populations will always change over time. Those that survive have favorable traits that help them adapt to their surroundings. For evolution in practice, think of the hipster beard. Various styles of beards have changed over thousands of years. So to all my hipster friends listening, don't be mad because Darwin wore it better. So before we go, remember, you're brilliant, and please don't forget to click the link in the description box to take my Quizlet for this lesson. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, friends, and keep on studying. I'd like to thank Chris Matthews for providing the music for this program, to Valerie Jeffers for co-producing, to Marion University and the Blue Umbrella for making this series possible along with all the other teachers, townships, and adult basic education programs who help inspire adult learners to reach for the stars. Mr. Abe Tasconi is the alter ego of me, David Taylor. If you have any questions about the task exam or if you'd like to try some more of my quizzes, please email me at tasktestquestions at gmail.com. This has been a Jeffers and Taylor production. See you next time.